This video is a key point spotlight summarizing a webinar covered by Graham Tomlinson titled The Success of Deployment of Zuno Across the Transport Sector, primarily focusing on London Transport. What better test and validation of our technology could there be than of its use in arguably uh, the busiest public space on the planet, uh, the London transport sector, which hosts millions of commuters every day. In July and August 2015, trials for the effectiveness of different sanitisation solutions were conducted, including the Z71 microbe shield. Trains were allowed to run in normal service for 22 days and 25 days respectively. The trains were subjected to one standard detergent clean during this period, showing Zuno's effectiveness at lasting alongside traditional cleaning measures. We um, conducted comparative swab testing for treated carriages on both the district and central lines and also untreated carriages on both of those two lines. Um, now, it was found that of the two products um, that uh, underwent this trial, the Z71 Microbe Shield product was found to have significantly better performance of the two. 100% of the grub holes that were tested and had been treated with the Z71 product came back as being food safe. So counts that were so low that um, you, you could use that surface to, to, to prepare food on. By the 11th of February, it was clear that the UK was entering a uh, major pandemic situation along with other parts of the world. And on the 11th of February, um, I urged uh, my contacts uh, in uh, London, London Underground Fleet to reopen the file and to proceed to the uh, uh, levels to mobilise and utilise the product. So we calculated um, that there was a residual weight per carriage of less than 10 grams per application. That means that the Z71 product um, is basically unclassified. An unclassified material means that there is no requirement to carry out detailed fire testing. We also did an assessment to determine whether or not there's any likelihood of the product actually building up to a larger amount. But we do know the one way in which a product of this nature will be lost to the surface is by erosion basically physical uh, action of people's hands, maybe wiping of the surfaces, but um, that takes place over a long period of time. So to, to talk about this, the 30-day bespoke test that uh, Zuno conducted with uh, independent laboratories, which showed that um, against Staphylococcus aureus, um, the product was given 71% um, efficacy at a 30-day period in the bespoke test and 99.8% um, kill against E. coli. In a, cost a modelled cost-benefit analysis, looking at uh, the cost of labour, chemicals, equipment, etc., etc., it was found that uh, there will be a cost benefit of between 70 and 80% versus the use of standard disinfectants used on a daily basis. There are more subsequent mobilisations that have been led by GTEC. These include train fleet mobilisations, ferry services and stations throughout different locations. This is a major step in developing safer environments and with the help of fully tested and proven Zuno solutions, a brighter future is easily obtainable. Routine testing has been undertaken within the rail industry since July 2020. Sampling has always been undertaken on the highest risk contact points including grab poles, buttons and dead man handles in driver's cabs. 146 high-risk contact areas have been swabbed on 29 active service trains. From all the trains testings, no presence of SARS-CoV-2, E. coli or Staphylococcus has been found on trains between 8 and 30 days since the last application of the Z71 microbe shield. In limited control tests on untreated carriages, traces of microorganisms and viruses have been found, ultimately showing the success of the Z71 microbe shield. Normal surface disinfectants do have their drawbacks. Whilst they do kill microorganisms on surfaces, their effect is usually temporary, only lasting a few hours. 
Train fleets are subjected to deep cleans at intervals of 20 days or above, meaning daily disinfection of services is logically not possible. The Z71 microbe shield is backed by lab testings that show its ability as a microbicide after 30 days in service. This fits well with current cleaning regulations and allows more efficient precautions to be taken. Based on the success in the UK, the following approach can be applied on a global scale.